But I get a lot of questions from guys who are addicted to porn and who have challenges in sexual interactions in the real world because they either need that or they don't really understand. They haven't been socialized in terms of normal consensual sexual mm. interactions. Well, and there's a dark side to this too. And yeah. it's something that I think especially guys, young guys have to be careful of, which is nowadays the availability of pornography is nothing like it used to be, right? Yeah. Someone used to have a magazine or a video. Now there's access to pornography is just, you know, a couple, you know, thumbtaps to, to a couple people. Uh, uh, and people uh, yeah. can get very, you know, young people can develop a lot of their arousal template yeah. to very extreme experiences right, because of the availability of extreme porn to and never actually have any real world experience. Yes. So if you think about it, their brains are becoming wired up to become aroused watching other people have sex. Instead of having sex themselves. Exactly. So they, they, no, they're, they're, I've heard people like oh, they need to watch porn in order to come. They, so they're having sex or even while to get watching arou- porn. Or even to get aroused. And, yeah. and I and here, clinical I have to say, you know, that I get hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of questions, different health topics yeah. and science topics. One of the most common questions I get is how to quit porn addiction. And I would say about 25% of the people that that I'm aware of based on those questions and a few people that I happen to know um, who are porn addicted are women. Yeah. And so, and it becomes an issue where, so there can be, so do you ask, can there become a like self-conditioned Pavlovian response? Yeah. It's like, absolutely. Anything that- Just to could, clarify real yeah. quick for people listening, like what a Pavlovian Oh yeah, yeah. Is. So uh, Pavlov won the Nobel Prize, uh, the so-called Pavlov dog experiments where basically you offer an animal some food or the smell of food, it starts salivating. But right before that, you ring a bell. Yeah. And then pretty soon all you need to do is ring the bell and the animals start salivating. Yeah. So now they're reacting to the bell ring, right. not the actual- oh, psychology major, UCSB. You know, baby, right? we out You out can here. take the final exam now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ate a class together. <laughs> oh my hilarious. goodness. It'd be amazing. Um, so I think that, you know, anytime, not I think. So you're we, saying we're doing that with porn. Well, and with any, any, well, with anything. anytime yeah. we experience a powerful emotional response or physical response. So that could be sexual arousal. It could be hunger. It could be um, fear. It could be excitement. Whatever preceded that becomes the thing that our brain basically thinks leads to that. Mm. So the brain is a prediction machine. Mm. So for, you know, and this has all sorts of roots around trauma and things that could be positive or negative. So you can imagine that if every time, you know, um, your parent blinked and then they hit you when you were a kid, see that blink. you see someone blinking and you get kind of your heart rate goes up, et cetera, because yeah. the brain generalizes, but it wants to predict what's going to happen yeah. next. On the positive side, if every time you arrived at your grandmother's house, like you knew that there was going to be delicious food and you're going to feel very nourished, like no trauma, then, well, then, you know, just walking up to a doorbell of a similar home, you might find like, oh, I just feel good right now. We are very kind of crude in our wiring, right? Our brain generalizes to try and predict. So, but in terms of the extreme things like sexual arousal, if young, and I do say guys, it's women watch pornography also, that's been well established, but I get a lot of questions from guys who are addicted to porn and who have challenges in sexual interactions in the real world because they either need that or they don't really understand. They haven't been socialized in terms of normal consensual sexual mm. interactions. And I always say, you know, there's four, anytime we're talking about this sort of thing, we, the, the disclaimer is we're talking about age appropriate, consensual, context appropriate, species appropriate, yeah. right? You know, yeah. throw in species appropriate because, you know, there's all sorts of things out there. I think that um, it's, it's interesting, you know, like extreme stuff of any kind, or even for instance, people who get really into fetish type sex, or they get into, um, you know, having multiple, uh, they get really into threesomes, yeah, right? Yeah, that this yeah. is a very, you know, as long as we're talking openly, there are a lot of people that I know who got really into this during the kind of early stages of the polyamory movement, yeah. right? So, hmm. you know, which started in the seventies, but then came back again in the like early two thousands. And then they found that they could not get aroused with just one partner. And that's because their brain was so used to a certain yeah. set of things preceding this. That's extreme, right? I mean, it's, it's yeah. you know, for some people, it's never less extreme. Never have I had less empathy for a person in my entire life <laughs> than the guy who just can't get off without two girls. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but that person is rendered um, sometimes challenged with one person, sometimes yeah. not. Yeah. Right? It depends on the, how their diversity of their arousal template. Yeah. So I'm not saying porn but is bad I, or, I, or, or for some people, listen, right. it's... it's but you know, I, I don't think not it's my just, proclivity, yeah. but for some people, you know, polyamory is their thing. So yeah. we're not judging the behavior. What we're saying is the brain, anytime there's a big release of it's dopamine. It's wiring towards it. Yeah. Every, yeah. Like whatever preceded portfolio. it. You got to diversify. Yeah. yeah. 